This is what your typical comparison video looks like. But this is what I'm gonna show you. So I'll quickly go over the key differences and then get on to the heat retention because that's the main reason that we use these things in the first place. So first thing is versatility. We're all familiar with sleeping bags. You can unzip it and you can lay it over you or be on it, fold it up. You can stick your feet out the bottom if you zip it part way. But uh, it's a little less user friendly to do that than the quilt. You can use it as a blanket as you're sitting around camp. You can do similar with a sleeping bag, but you have this funky foot box. With the quilt, you then have the option to lay it over you like a blanket. You can zip up the bottom and then have your feet in or out to adjust the temperature. Then the top, we have some more options. So again, we can lay it over us. We can really pull it all the way close uh, around our neck and tucked underneath. I'll show you that in a minute. Why would you choose one over the other? So that versatility. Second is the weight. Now, because quilts don't have a full length zipper, they certainly weigh less. They also have less material. Because you're laying on your pad with this tucked under the side, it doesn't connect in back. And so you have an extra strip here that is not included on the quilt. And there's no hood because generally if it's cold enough for a hood, it's cold enough for a hat. And so you're going to have that hat that you can use anyway. There's a considerable difference in price as well. Now a 20 degree feathered friend sleeping bag costs from about four to $500. Whereas this quilt uh, by Enlightened Equipment that's also 20 degree costs 300. Some people who find a mummy bag too restrictive find a quilt really nice because as you're sleeping there, even if you have it cinched around you, you can simply kind of stick a knee out without having the restriction of that zipper. Again, weigh it out, see what's right for you, and put in the comments, which do you prefer? So on a cold night, when you get in your sleeping bag, you're gonna get your hood on, and you're going to cinch that hood up, and if you have a draft collar, you're going to close that around your neck. This is what it should look like when you're laying on your back in terms of heat loss. When you roll on your side, When you roll on your side, this is what you get. Now, if you're interested in this enlightened equipment, Revelation quilt, this feathered friend sleeping bag, or any of the other cold weather camping equipment I recommend, such as this Thermarest Neo Air X-Therm pad, uh, then check the descriptions. I also will do a link for this FLIR unit for your phone. They come for iPhones and Androids, and this enables you to get footage like you saw in this video. So check it out. They're pretty fun to play with. Now to put your quill in the warmest configuration, you're going to snap the bottom and cinch this up. Now some of these do come with enclosed foot boxes, and you get a little bit of a weight savings, but they're really not as versatile for temperature. We have a little strap that goes around the sleeping bag and this bottom one you can adjust so that you can pull these clips in or out to make this uh, more snug around you or a little looser. And then on top, just cinch it around yourself and that just holds it in. Just like with a sleeping bag, you're gonna wanna get this cinched around your neck. So you're going to snap behind and then you're going to cinch this top baffle snug around your neck. So now you've got this quilt tucked in all around you. So this is sleeping on your back. Now we turn over. And we turn the other way. So you'll probably notice it because I can feel a little bit of air get in underneath because in a quilt, you are moving inside of the quilt versus in a sleeping bag, the sleeping bag is moving with you. The other thing we can do is cinch this up a little more to keep it pulled in tighter. Or the other option is to switch the straps top and bottom so that you can keep the top strap cinched to the pad. This will make it a little harder to get in and out of the quilt, 
but it does make it more stationary and just keep a little more warmth in. So now when I lay on my side facing away from you, it does a little nicer job of keeping this down. Do another roll. I actually feel warmer in this for some reason. Not sure what the camera's showing, but I do feel warmer inside it. I kind of end up pushing the edge of the quilt down behind me. The other thing here to remember is that a lot of people will take a hood, a sleeping hood, that are designed specifically for this purpose. As it gets colder outside, I'll just get a warmer hat that I bring with me and then just sleep with that. It's actually less cold air coming out from the base of the quilt. The weak area of the quilt is the head. So as you can see, when I roll on my side, there seems to be a little more white area on the sleeping bag than on the quilt. So that is the warmest part of the picture. So for me, the benefit of this quilt comes down to a weight savings and the flexibility that you have to use it in various ways and that to me especially the way is the most valuable piece and also speaking of value it does come in cheaper so this is such a great option i really recommend it now if you're doing cold weather camping like you're in the winter and it's below zero that sort of thing I personally recommend a sleeping bag. I think it's hard to beat something with a hood and generally in the winter you're able to pull a sled or something and it's not as much of a concern for the weight. Now if any part of this video was interesting or helpful to you then please give it a like because it's a free way to help support the channel and help get more content like this. Now if you're new to Adventures in Reach, I hope you'll consider subscribing to get more inspiring adventures and information about how to make them happen for you. Now if you're watching this video, you're probably interested in camping or being outdoors in the cold. And so I'm really going to suggest that you watch this video about the ways that we lose heat and how to stop that.